Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a presentation on electric fields. We're going to be looking at the types of charge, the laws of electrostatics, uh, electric fields that are uniform, some of the equations to do with electric fields, and the motion of charged particles within electrical fields. Now, unless you had your head in the clouds during the IGCSE course, you should be aware that there are in fact two types of charge. There's positive and negative charges. Positive charges here, well, the electric field radiates out of positive charges, and in a negative charge, the electric field goes towards the negative charge. Another way of thinking about it is, imagine if there was a particle here and it was positively charged, well, it'd want to repel from the positive charge, and so it'd feel a force in this direction, whereas if it had a positive charge here, it would be attracted towards the negative charge. So that's one way of thinking about the uh, fields around positive and negative charges. Okay, let's just go over the laws of electrostatics, but you should again be familiar with them from the IGCSE course. If you've got a positive and negative charge, they will attract towards each other uh, because opposite charges attract. Whereas if you've got a negative and a negative charge, they'll repel. And likewise, a positive and a positive charge will also repel. Electric field strength. Now, electric field strength is a vector quantity, so it's got a direction, and it's defined as the force per unit positive charge. And you can calculate electric field strength by uh, using this equation here, where we've got the electric field strength, which is uh, in newtons per coulomb, and uh, that's equal to the force on a charge divided by the charge of the charge. Uh, and if you've got a uniform field, so imagine if I had two plates here, a positively charged plate and a negatively charged plate, I'd have an electric field running from the positive towards the negative. The field strength of a uniform field. To calculate the field strength of a uniform field, you're going to need two values. You need to know the potential difference between these two plates. So maybe your upper plate might be charged at, say, positive, maybe 5,000, and normally the negative is probably going to be zero, probably connected to Earth. So you know the potential difference between the plates. And also you need to know the distance or the separation between the two plates. It has to be in meters, but usually in an exam they might give you millimeters or centimeters and you're going to have to convert. So this equation here helps us find the electrical field strength between the plates. And it's equal to the electric field strength, which we saw on a previous slide, again in newtons per coulomb, is equal to uh, the potential difference or the voltage divided by the plate separation uh, in meters. The motion of charged particles in an electric field. Now, if I've got a positive charge here and it's moving through my electrical field, it's going to feel a force in this direction towards the negative plate, which is here. So I could have a particle, maybe a, a beam of protons coming through. As soon as it gets into the electric field, it's going to feel an acceleration towards the bottom plate here. And when it leaves, it'll carry on going straight. Uh, so the movement of the charged particle would be something like this, go straight, accelerate towards the negative, and then carry on straight again. And it's important to note the acceleration is uniform, that as your little particle is moving, accelerating towards the negative plate, that acceleration doesn't actually change. And that's a bit counterintuitive because you'd kind of expect as the uh, positive charge got closer and closer to the negative uh, charged plate, that it would feel uh, more acceleration because it's getting closer and closer. But that just isn't true. So it's just something important to note that in a uniform field, the, uh, uh, the force and therefore the acceleration anywhere within the field is uniform. It doesn't change. Okay, and just to finish off, I just want you guys to be aware of a famous experiment called Millikan's Drop Experiment. It was performed around 1909, and it's the first measurement of the charge of an electron. And it's quite a clever idea using uh, uniform electrical fields. What Millikan did he got uh, an oil drop and he dropped it through a hole here and the oil drop had a charge in it and the, the charge or the electric field was set up in a very clever way and gravity is trying to pull the charge the oil drop all the way down 
but Millikan just got the correct voltage in order to provide a force going upwards that would balance with the force going down, the force of weight. The oil drop is stationary and you got the forces uh, to balance. Which is very, very clever. Because what he could do is he knew the weight uh, and he knew the, the electric field strength so he'd work out the distance between the plates and he knew the voltage between the plates. So he knew the electrical field strength here but he didn't know the charge. So he could rearrange this equation here so these two would be equal so mg would equal uh, the electric field strength times the charge and the only thing he wouldn't really know would be the charge so just by rearranging the equations he could find the electrical charge of an electron and a hundred years ago he was about two percent out which is really quite remarkable anyway uh, bye for now and finally guys if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe so you can just keep to update with what's happening on my channel. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.